Well, hello there. This is Mr. Shrest, and I'm here to walk you through an extra detail in the introduction to blinding lights. So there's a part in the first five measures of the original song that to my ear sounds a little bit like the French horn. Check this out. Right here. Okay, just those first five bars are really the four bars before that first hook. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new track. I'm going to choose Brass and Woodwinds. And I'm going to use the French horn track. Okay, somehow this is not switching to French horn. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm going to choose French horn. You can choose to make this any sound you want. Make it a synth sound. Whatever makes your heart happy. Okay, and so we're going to be working above C3. The notes are F, A flat, G, and F. It's going to start in measure two on an F. Measure three is the A flat. Measure four is the E. And when we get to measure five, where the hook starts that do, 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 that's where we're going to resolve to F and fade out. So if I play this in. notes are a little bit late. So we know the solution to this. Solution number one is that we can quantize these notes. We can quantize this whole region to the nearest whole note. So I'm going to highlight all of them. I'm going to go to quantize. I'm going to choose whole note. So that moves everything to the beginning of each measure. So that's fixed. but I did something on purpose. It's a little bit hard to hear this particular note right here. This is the, the G or G3. If I click on that note, if I select it, you can see that it says velocity of 71, okay? Um, that is not at all matching the velocity of 112 or 106 or 98. All these notes are at a very, very different velocity because of the way I played it in it. All that means is literally the amount of force that I used on my keyboard to record this in. And depending on how you're doing this, if you're using an iPad, it will record some of the velocity. If you're recording on the QWERTY keyboard of a laptop, it will probably give a generic velocity. Velocity is somewhat equivalent to dynamics or the volume of the notes. So we want to make sure that this note can be heard. And there is, so let's say we go 112, 71, 106. What if we put this number between 112 and 106? Let's arbitrarily say 109, somewhere close to the middle. So how do we change that? Well, on the top right hand side of the piano roll, there's our arrow, there's our pencil tool, which we can use to write pitches, but there's also this V here, and this V stands for velocity. When you click on that, you can notice that all of the notes that are in this MIDI region actually have a little white, teeny tiny little white meter inside them, and that's the, the relative velocity. That's sort of an indication of their relationship to velocity. If we click on this note and then drag up or down, you can see that my velocity changes. And I can sample by listening. Maybe I wanted to have a little bit more of a decrescendo sound. So one thing I could do would be maybe bring this up a little bit. Maybe bring that down slightly. Bring this guy down slightly. Let's see what that sounds like. sort of a nice uh, decrescendo effect. Personally speaking, I think I might um, to be back on this and I might extend this note out just a little bit longer. And then perhaps you're saying, Mr. Charest, I wish there, there was even more of a decrescendo there. And I will tell you that velocity is a fixed setting. It doesn't decrease as the long note goes on. So the way to fix this, and you might have already surmised this, is to go into your track setting here and we're going to automate a volume process. 
and I'm going to create two positions on the track. And I'm going to drag this out so that it basically creates a volume fade down, a fade down with each of these points here. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Okay. Personally, I think that fades nicely, but I think it starts a little bit too loud. So I think what we might have to do is change this overall region from the beginning. But I want you to enter this, um, this fragment of the melody into your, into your sound trap assignment. And I want you to automate the volume so that it blends in the beginning here. That's our goal. F, A flat, G, F. Cool. Great. Okay. So good luck with that and let me know if you have any questions.